so apologies in advance if this sounds kind of snarky but I've seen so many people posting about how tough stealth is to do as anything so I decided to kind of nerf myself and show just how it's really not that big of a deal and I mean there are some complaints that are pretty valid not everything's unbased but I really think that people are overreacting a bit with their opinions on stealth so I will be doing both a Grenier and a Corpus one as this high level frost that you see here and then one as a super gimped noob so for this Corpus one which I will be doing on Pluto I have my Frost Prime, you know, no s sprint, stamina mods, nothing like that. So just slow, slow as fuck Frost Prime. Uh, Dread, you know, decent build, whatever. Uh, you know, decent build on the Hiku, doesn't really matter. And uh, Skana, just to kind of show it's really not that bad. Uh, and so yeah, and I'll, after I do this one, I'll use some starter gear. And go to a Grenier one, but uh, I figured I'd do the Corpus one first because the Corpus one is uh, less reliant on your uh, gear and more on just you know. Hold on, let me check the recording. Yep, uh, less reliant on your um, fuck gear. There we go. Yeah, Corpus one just relies on your sprinting, moving around. And I think the biggest issue that people have with this stealth. Oh, by the way, you know, sorry for my stupid, you know, prepubescent twelve-year-old voice. Whatever, who cares? Um. Your mission is to break into enemy yeah, I don't really know what to say. Kind of talk as we go through it. I didn't think that text would work as well, and I don't care because alarms don't matter. If you're outside of the room. It only matters when you're inside of the room, so as long as you can just, you know, run through the mission like this, like I'm doing, no regards for anyone around. The bypass is Don't give a crap, control. not gonna worry about alarms, not gonna kill anyone really. Just tank the damage, because I just want to get to the vaults. because uh, once you're in there, you can just turn off the alarms. It won't have any effect on the mission. So, here we are, vault number one. And turn security off. There we go. Alright, um so let's go in here. And a lot of people are gonna be like, well Stallard, why can't I bring my loud weapons? Why do I have to bring stealth weapons? That's not fair. And you don't. Like right here, see the super we're gonna take a look with our codex scanner. See, no one's around. So that means we can just shoot this camera, and you can shoot it with a loud weapon. We jump over these lasers, watch their pattern, you know, observe the situation. There we go. Simple wall run. Step two, go in here. Simple wall run as a slow as hell frost. I don't need to be max ranked Loki. Man, that looks tough. Good thing I looked around and found this extremely easy alternate route and no, no danger to me and so yeah that camera out there I can shoot it with my ogress if I was bringing that on a stealth mission for some reason I mean this is a stealth mission you should be building somewhat stealthy you don't have to you just go melee only if you really want it's just a matter of air dashing the right way um, but these are stealth missions. You can't come in here with your end game T4 survival gear and expect the same results. This is you have to kind of build for the mission, build for the you build for the faction, so you should build for the mission too. You won't bring the same like Necros build or whatever. Hey, yeah, you can bring your Ogress, your Angstrom, be loud as you want. There's no one in there to hear you, at least not in that tile. Might, there are in some of the other ones, but those ones you just learn what is in each tile and then plan accordingly for each one. Go loud in that one because no one can hear you and activate the alarms. And then for these other ones, you, you know, practice your air dashes so you can. <sighs> the 
Oh, sorry. Was... Whatever, I got these. Just chew right through. Here we are, and we wait a few seconds, make sure no one's trailing us. See, look. Wait a little bit longer. Alright, everything's good, no alarms. So now we can attempt the vault. If you trigger the alarms now, the enemy will so when we get in the vault, you know, observe our surroundings, use your codex scanner to see through the walls, are there any enemies nearby, are those where some alternate routes I can take? Oh look, up here. No enemies below me. Uh, there's this one camera here. So I just drop down and shoot it. Not really in any danger right now. And then again, you can do that with a loud one because this tile doesn't have enemies, just has these few cameras. And look, that looks tough. So rather than jumping down into the lasers and going, oh, what the fuck? How was I supposed to know? You figure out how to get rid of them. You take a look around, you observe the environment. How well, you're like, you know, you're a cat burglar, you're figuring out. How am I gonna get in here? How am I gonna steal this treasure? You're not just going in, balls to the wall, guns blazing, fire in the air, world on fire, raging, spam, you know, no, molecular prime, hysteria is active. You can, if you want. You just punch the hell out of everything in your way and then cipher spam your way to the objective. That's a method. And it works. It's a lot better to just look around and figure out what does what. So, oh, hey, look. Here's a terminal I haven't hit yet. Right at the beginning. That made that much easier. And again, sorry if I sound snarky, but people really need to learn to just look around. It's not super tough. And a lot of these things do take trial and error. You gotta figure out what does what. This isn't my first you know, spy mission. But these came out yesterday. So. And I've done maybe like 10 of these. And I figured them out. It's just a little bit of learning. And then you figure out what route works best for you. And sometimes those routes will be different. It, it changes it up a bit. It's not the same every time. But that's kind of what's cool about this game mode. You can't go in... You can't use the same strategies that you use for the main mode. And even within these regular spy missions, you can't use the same strategy every single time. You gotta, you know, mix it up. And I like that. But, that doesn't really mesh well with the standard uh, Warframe player's mentality, which is to fall into this very comfortable, very, I don't want to say cookie cutter, but very uh, meta build, and just stick with that and get maximum gains with that. So when all of a sudden they find themselves in a situation where they are suddenly unable to use the same strategies, they panic. And that's just, you know, an issue in here with how many Warframe players play. Now here's a good example of another thing people are complaining about, is the bullet accuracy, and see, I'm getting hit a bit, but I'm rolling, so I'm not in any real danger, and I'm not going to attempt to fight a front on all sides and move to a position where I'm not being shot in my back, and then take things out from there, figure out what the best way to approach it is. If I'd fought down there, I would have died. So instead I move to a safer position where I have the high ground, enemies rolling on one side of me, I've had four people with me, I, you know, I just, who cares, I just die, just pick the bigger target, he's no longer a threat, these are just, you know, things for solo players, I don't want nullifiers, I think nullifiers are cool, I like them, they are annoying, but I don't hate them, I think they're annoying in a good way, they make, again, when a strategy that you use for everything else suddenly does not work anymore. It just shatters 
And I guess I shouldn't say Warframe players only. It shatters a lot of players for most video games, because everyone wants to have that one perfect solution to everything. So, again, hack security. <sighs> and I have ciphers. I should bring them, because this is a spy mission. I'm, you know, on Pluto, I should be acting like it. Anyone here? Now what do we do? We assess the situation. Kill any stragglers. So that guy... I'm gonna do this one without killing anyone, or at least attempt it, for whatever reason. I'll probably mess up, but who cares? It'll help show that getting to the terminal once you mess up isn't really that bad. So I assess the situation. I see there's an enemy there. There's an enemy on my left. There's a camera there. So how am I gonna get through this? Nah, I'm just gonna mess this one up actually. All right, so from this, I have 20 seconds. Get there. Taking a lot of damage. Get, but I'm on Pluto. I'm high mastery player. I played a lot. I should use my ciphers. Look, there we go. Cutting it close. Good thing I brought these ciphers for this mission that requires very speedy action in such situations. Like you got to plan for these things. You can't. Ciphers, you know, aren't going to be useful for your average, oh shoot, we're locked in a room with the one prodman, or we're on survival. Damn it, why didn't we bring more ciphers? But you've got to plan differently for different mission types. See, there again, I was pretty close to death, but just get around the enemy, get into a position where they can no longer hit you, and move, and I'm sure, you know. Grenier are tougher because they have hit scan, but still the same things apply. And we're almost done with this. Um, yeah, I'm not very good at commentary or anything like that. You know? I don't normally do it because I hate the sound of my own voice, and I'm sure you guys do too. But I didn't feel that, you know, text on video was going to work super well for this. Well Alright, so there's a uh, corpus. Alright, and we are back with part two, and now we'll be doing the Grenier ones. Uh, low level, just to kind of, because you may say, oh, well, Stallard, you don't have dread when you're new. You're right, you don't. So, I will be using a Mark 1 Breton uh, with no mods. No mods. Um, and a uh, Skana. Also no mods. And lastly, a Leto. With, of course, no mods. And just for the sake of the mission, I will be also using my Frost with no mods. Because um, that might have an effect on how well I'm able to sneak or something, I don't know. Um, now, new players don't necessarily have zero access to silent weapons. They can, you know, get the Mark 1s. But that, I'm sure... You might say, that's not fair, they don't have the credits to waste on that, or what if they don't know, they shouldn't be forced to. So, I will do it with loud weapons only. All super weak, none of them really capable of, where's the freaking? oh, Jesus. There we go. Um, none of them really capable of uh, instant killing things in silence. So, we'll, God, I, I'm not a good commentator, I'm sorry for that. I'm not going to be surprised if no one likes this, uh, being kind of a dick anyway. Uh, check the recording here, hold on. Alright, so yeah, I whip out my Skana like any self-respecting new player would. And, just go, go at it. Now, Grenier missions... I admit are uh, much tougher for the average player than the corpus missions uh, and the reason for that is the regulators 
which I will agree with anyone who says they are too strong. They are very powerful. Uh, they will detect you instantly upon touching them, even if their little scanner bar doesn't see you. Uh, they have surprisingly weird vision cones, like sometimes you'll think you're in their sight line and you won't be, but sometimes you'll be nowhere near that little laser grid and they'll uh, see you anyway, so I don't know what the point of that thing is if it's not really representative of where they can see you, which is something that I think should be addressed. Uh, they're also surprisingly tanky, so one, let's do some butt scoots, um, one-shotting them is not easy because if you hit them unlike cameras which will take as much punishment as long as they don't see you regulators will sound the alarms if they get hit and not kill so see alarm set turn it off before we go in the room it's just like it's just a matter of not rushing these missions the oh good, this Trigger one. Alarm, this is uh, probably the hardest data. one, but there's ways to get around it. And I won't be using my codex scanner because the new player might not know to use that. Those rascally little new players. So I'll just go it with only in my scanner pretty much. Now normally you know you activate those two terminals there under the watch, those regulators, or you can find alternate routes that don't involve as much danger like this uh, and we did it and those things can't see us through the glass and there we go Excellent work. one down with no probably the hardest one really um, and I know a lot of you are probably disagreeing with, with me on that and saying that another one coming up here is tougher and, and I can see why you would say that but I will be showing you a super secret route to get through that one that doesn't involve nearly as much danger because the regulators while they are much stronger than cameras still cannot hear you so you can shoot super loud bullets if you want right next to them and they won't pick up on it um, just as long as they don't see you and you don't hit them them and their tankiness I definitely think they could be weaker and their codes of sight could uh, be more representative let's get these sick stealth combo finishers look at that XP 1600 XP. Well, I'm using a doubler, but still. 800 XP is a lot for a new player. That's like a level on your Scana right there. I really like this new melee system. This levels your melees really fast. I got a Galatine to rank from rank 0 to 30 in like three spy missions. Get that. Just keep up the stealth. He can't see me because of the... the you are weird like that. They can't see you at horizontal range, but damn if they can't see you when you're directly above them. No alarms to worry about this time, so that's easy. Alright, now this is the one most people probably think is super hard now, because most of them probably go through that way to the right, where you have to do some super annoying parkour and what have you. So instead, I will be showing you this... Uh, Stallard's, oh, whoops, uh, Stallard's Super Secret Walkthrough Guides, Part 1. Just wait for a barrel to come by, blow it up, and regulators cannot hear you, and yes, there are enemies in this tile, but they are locked behind the door until the alarm set off. And so you see that big orange wall, and you should think to yourself, oh, I probably should not touch that. So you wait, watch the patterns go through and there's only one because it's a new player tile and there's a fan there so you just go over it get the right angle here and these are all things that like I said take trial and error but I don't think that's a bad thing you shouldn't be able to do it on your first try perfectly this part's kind of tough because you gotta get down here while those things are busy in the corners 
Right. Hide here while it drives by. Stay, that door can sometimes open, but whatever. Who cares? Alright, we did it. Undetected. And much like coming into vaults, it doesn't matter if you get detected on your way out, you have the thing. Warning, um, heavy grenier approaching. Each vault's alarm system is independent of the others, so you can go out Rambo style if you want, if you're just done with the vault. Yeah, there's a lot of options to these things, and I think people don't realize that there's multiple ways to approach these. They f they they feel like they're a lot more limited than they really are. And I know I mentioned earlier that you know changing up the strategy on people to limit them is something that I like, at least in Warframe, uh, and that's true. But that just means that if your most popular way is not currently available for this current run of the mission, you have options. There are always options. DE, you know, despite what you may think of them, uh, they are not going to make something that is literally impossible. They're going to give you some options. They're, they're good at that. I'll give them. I give him credit where to do. So, security down. Oh, see, we got some stragglers, so you don't go in yet. I'm sure you could, I don't really think it. Oh, wait, no, for the next one. It's kind of. And besides, I mean, those guys can follow you in. You don't want that. Just always check your backs before you go in. So, again, no codex scanner. So instead, I sit, look at the situation. What do I got? Okay, there's a regulator there. And DE loves symmetry. So, oh, two regulators. They come out and they scan. But they can't scan behind these. So I wait behind this coil. Wait for them to scan. And then follow them back in. Oh, and look, a thing here, and, you know, again, this trial and error, you learn these things, but most players can still, you know, hit that bar and then run through there while it's back's turn. All viable. Or you can do this super secret, easy way. And, you know, ways are mixed up on different playthroughs, so you might have to do the tougher hit the bar while it's back is turned on some. But, you have options. You can always hide from things. And if you're smart, you'll just bring a Loki or a Shade. I mean, come on. And so rather than going the normal way that most people would go, we go under in Stallard Super Come on. Just watching it. The Grenier on the other side of the glass cannot see you because of this huge terminal. And boom. Data extracted. They won't super stealth. We have everything we came for. Get to Looks like he's doing a little bit of a spin there, no? no? Oh, yeah. And out we go. Again, who cares if you're seen on your way out? You have the data. Got what you need. And you only need to get, I think, two to win. Maybe even one, I don't know. I have not ever lost more than one. I mean kind of like a boast, but... Bring your ciphers. Learn the tiles. There's only six. <laughs> uh, really shouldn't be a huge chore to learn. Six. You're on the sensors now. You've been and, you know, D will probably inevitably add more. But that's good. They're not going to add so... Yeah, sick parry. With my unranked Skana. I don't even really think I needed, like, I got the one stealth kill, but besides that, right, this is the true new player experience. You know, gear doesn't really matter. If you have the stealthy bows and what have you, it helps. 
you don't need it. You don't need to be a super fast Logi stealth invisible frame. You can be a fat as fuck frost. If you want. Options is the word of the day here. Um, but yeah. Again, not a great commentator. Just wanted to do this. Uh, not as tough as it looks. Stealth 2.0. Pretty well done, honestly. Just because they require a little bit extra, you know, work doesn't make them bad. So, uh, bye.